Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my random wee adventures. I am Aaron of Alaba. Today I'm in Scotland's west coast in Ayrshire. Because right behind me here was once the home of Scotland's cannibal clan. Stay tuned to see more. Back in the 15th or 16th century, a man called Sonny Bean lived in East Lothian. He married a woman that many had said to have believed to be a witch. Not so popular in the local area, they decided to switch coasts all the way over to the west coast in Ayrshire. And below me is a deep cave that is said to have been the place that Sonny Bean called home. Having no real trade or skills of his own, Sonny Bean had to feed his wife and he took to robbery. The wee country roads in Ayrshire were where he chose his victims. He realised that he couldn't let his victims free, so he had to kill each one person that he robbed. This led to him and his wife turning to butchery. And then behind the camera is where his cave was. This, guys, is the home of the cannibal clan Sawney Bean. Sonny Bean and his family lived here for 25 years, they say. It's believed that 48 members of the Bean family were found in this cave, guys. Along with remains of body parts. Pickled body parts. No joke. It is said that a thousand people were caught, butchered and slaughtered and munched for dinner in this cave behind me. Hoo-wee! So, let's go look at the little incest inbred cannibal family's house. You guys have to be put down. Otherwise, this is struggle getting up here with one hand. Boom. Hoi. Hoi. This is some epic cave, guys. There's some weird noises already. I don't know if you can hear that weird noise, I'm hoping it's a bloody pigeon. Alright, let's go in guys. Okay, a modern day graffiti. So far, and this guy's is said to be one mile deep. A 
48 members of the Bean family. Sweet passages and stuff. Sonny Bean and his family hid here for 25 years, guys. And he was trialled. The whole family were captured, the men castrated, and the women hung at the stake. The word is that the men had their arms and legs taken off as well. Sure. But this is intense. Gone. Let's go back out. <laughs> Some people say the story was a fabrication of the English to try and paint a picture of the Scots being these cannibal heathens. But I can't believe that personally. There's no evidence of over a thousand people going missing in Ayrshire. But it is understandable that a wee spot like this you wouldn't be able to find. 25 years where the brothers and sisters were breeding and eating human flesh for dinner. It's an intense spot. It's for sure. That's today's story, guys, of the cannibal clan, Sawney Beans, we incest family. And I hope you enjoyed today's story. Subscribe, share it, give it a thumbs up, or else you never, might never see me again. <laughs>